Hey, what is up, guys? It's your boy Tenyal Scene One, and welcome back to yet another tutorial. Um, in this tutorial, we are going to cover uh, a reloading method, which is entirely through code. Uh, it's relatively simple. Uh, there's a bunch of new things to cover. Um, the the older method used animation as a way to reload, which is an option still. Um, animation is more is is well used for things like you know, for, for example, if there's an attacking animation. And you don't necessarily want to attack right at the start of it. You want to attack in the middle of it. Then you would use something called animation events or states, like we used before. Um, for reloading, you don't necessarily need to worry about that, as reloading is mostly just a set of time. So you can wait for a specific period of time, and you can pretty much um, reload your weapon. You can pretty much uh, uh, add bullets to your weapon. You know. So that's what we're gonna do. Um, and yeah, um, hopefully uh, you guys understand anything. For uh, for better explanation, uh, we're gonna use something called coroutines. So if if you don't understand what they are exactly, um, then feel free to look them up, search for it. It's it's a very cool little method. Um, but yeah, just don't worry about it too much, though. Okay, take your time. Uh, anyways, without any further ado, let's get started, shall we? Um, so back in Unity, um, so we had our AI previously. We covered AI. Uh, we will definitely, I'll, I'll definitely work around with that. Uh, let me know if you guys want that. I made a poll, and and some of you were um, relatively, um, you know, excited or, or wanted more tutorials on the AI. So you know, let's go for it. Why not? Uh, maybe I'll make it more complicated. I don't know if you guys want that, but yeah. Anyhow, um, for now, I have it disabled. You can just click on the object that you can disable it. Um, so yeah. Uh, so what we're going to do is we are mainly going to focus on the weapon script which we have here. So let's double click that and let's open it up. Um, so before we actually move and, and actually like edit the code and add variables and everything, what we're going to do is we're going to remove our old weapon system which we had before. So we're going to click click on the weapon here. This is the weapon. Um, you can see there's a bunch of, um, bunch of game objects and everything. So what we're going to do is we are essentially going to go to animator here by clicking on the weapon make sure you go there and there's a reload uh, state remember we added a, a script to the reload state so we no longer need this because we are not going to reload through animation we're going to reload through code so we're just going to right click and remove that um, so pretty much it's not code uh, it's not like animation reliant so even if you don't have an animation system going you can simply manage everything to code which is pretty useful I think um, and then we're going to just go back to our code and we are going to start adding some um, some variables. So a few things. We have a variable called is reloading. This is the variable which we're going to use. Let me see where we are actually using it. Um, so you can pretty much see that is reloading is set to um, state. So pretty much every time we're inside of the animation state called reload, uh, that means we are uh, pretty much reloading. So we don't actually want that. We're going to change this entirely. So what we're going to do is we're going to basically go ahead and remove this entirely from here. Um, we don't really need this. Uh, and let's see where else it's used. It's used in a bunch of things just to check if we are reloading. Okay, cool. Um, so this is very cool, by the way. To bring this up, you can press Control F uh, and you can type things in. I mean, in my case, I'm using entire solution and I'm just searching things up. So, so let's see how the reload actually works. So if you go back to our... Um, update method, I believe, yeah. So if you press the shoot input, which is the left the left mouse, mouse button, you can see we shoot, we fire if you have bullets. If you don't have bullets, we try to reload. So we are going to go to the reload method. Uh, so you can right click it, go to definition, or you know, you can just scroll down, <laughs> that works too. Turn this into uh, a coroutine. So what are coroutines? How do they work? Coroutines are pretty much pieces of code that are pretty much functions or methods that are cooperative. So what they're going to do is instead of entirely stopping your code, typically the way the code executes is, uh, for example, if this method is executing, it's going to execute entirely, right? So if I execute it through do reloading, for example, or any other method, it's going to finish its thing, it's going to do its logic, and all the other code is pretty much uh, going to, it's not going to execute, it's going to stop there. So it's going to first do its logic, 
and then it's going to transfer control back to the other methods that really want it. So it's going to pretty much play in a sequence. However, the way coroutines work is that they give control, so they pretty much transfer control. So they're going to do one little thing, they're, then they're going to give the control back to other methods, so they're not going to like stop your code or stop your game entirely and wait for that thing to happen, right? Um, and they're pretty much just going to transfer control back and forth. Again, if you don't get this properly, don't panic. It's okay. We'll get into it, and hopefully you'll uh, get a better understanding of what and at what's happening. So to use coroutines, first of all, you need to use something called uh, using system.collections.generic, I believe. Actually, it was system.collections, maybe. I'm not sure which library we're using. We'll know soon enough. <laughs> uh, and we're pretty much going to convert this method into coroutine. So we're going to say private. Instead of void, we're going to write i enumerator. And that is how you convert this to a coroutine. So yeah, so you need system.collections for um, for coroutine. So this is basically a coroutine now. Um, now we're going to do some things. So first of all, we're going to work on executing it. So whenever we reload, we're actually going to do some things. We're going to say, hey, um, if our bullets are greater than zero and we're not already reloading, then we are going to pretty much start. We're going to say start coroutine and um, that's it and it's going to start a core routine this is how you call it. you don't call it directly by saying do reload it is a method as well but it's a, it's a core routine so it's going to transfer control back and forth it's not going to stop your code from executing uh, it's going to do this it's going to maybe check for this thing and it's going to come back and do this again and then it's gonna, you know it's just going to transfer back and forth without this method finishing entirely once it's finished entirely it's going to give all the control back to um, to the update method for example uh, so let's go to the core routine here uh, and let's go ahead and see what we have. So first of all, we're going to set the state and it's called uh, is reloading is true. So we're in this we're in this method and that means we are now in the reload state. So we're manually setting this um, by ourselves. We could also remove this piece of code. Um, I'm going to keep the animation system the same. We can definitely transfer it to a better animation system at some point. Uh, maybe not directly jumping states uh, but yeah I probably should do a real on that I'm not happy with this so yeah you can uh, so we're, we're in the reload state now and what do we need to do well we need to do a bunch of things we need to pretty much wait for the reload time so we need a new method you scroll up all the way we need a mu new um, variable and let's see it's gonna be in properties and I'm just gonna add it here so we're gonna call this public float reload time equals two seconds so how much how long do you want the reload to me it's going to be two seconds long and we're going to say okay so when the reload stayed play the reload animation and then say yield return new wait for seconds reload time now what does this mean so pretty much what we're doing whenever the yield keyword you'll, you'll use this uh, all the time because you can see this is not a void void means no return type it's i uh, i enumerator so what's going to do it's going to pretty much give the control back to the method whichever whichever method called it so in our case for example update called it it's going to return the control back to update and it's going to wait for five seconds and after five seconds the control is going to be transferred back to this method instead and it's going to do whatever logic comes after this yield statement so do this logic okay everything else is stopped it's going to do this logic it's going to uh wait for five seconds everything else can continue in that five second span and then it's going to do more logic afterwards so that's just how it's going to be. So that's what we're going to do. This is pretty much a timer. That's it. It's just a five second, uh, just two second timer in our case, because reload time is two seconds. Um, and then we can do other logic. And what do we want to do after that? We simply want to say, hey, play this method, which is reload method, which what it does is it pretty much uh, fills in the bullets and everything. And it updates the ammo text. Uh, and we can say, hey, we're no longer in the reload state. So is reloading equals false? Um, I can, I'm just going to do this like this because it looks nicer. I don't know. Also, maybe not have like a million of spaces like like me, you know? I don't know why I'm adding so many spaces. This this looks really, really bad. <laughs> and whatever, this, don't worry about it. <laughs> so we can just write wait for um, the reload time. So pretty much in this span, you can adjust the reload time based off how long the animation itself is. Um, and yeah, more or less, we should be done at this point. Um, our code is more or less the same. We don't have to make too many adjustments because we were using the Israel reloading method. This is very important. Uh, if we are already reloading and we start the core routine again, it's going to pretty much start it twice. So it's going to act like there's multiple of these methods playing. And that's not going to be nice. Don't do that. 
uh, you should only execute this once, let it finish, uh, or if or you can also stop the coroutine if you want to manually by saying stop coroutine. Um, but for that, it's it, that's a different story. Don't try that just the way it is, you know. Uh, for that, you need to execute the coroutine differently. Just letting you know. So everywhere where it says uh, do reload, we just need to, you know, make sure it says start coroutine instead of do reload. Um, so that it actually executes everything. Uh, also, we need to make sure that we are all not already reloading. Very, very, very important, okay? Also, I don't know why I haven't done this. I just like to have these uh, curly brackets really help make it look nice. So if you press the button, our bullets are less than our maximum bullets. We all we have some bullets in our bag or whatever, and we're not already reloading, then please start the reloading process, you know? And that should be pretty much it. I think fire also has reloading. Um, actually, it does not have reloading. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, that's cool. Uh, we already have that up there. Yep, we have it here. Okay, cool. So that should be it. Um, just making sure everything's fine here. Okay, so one thing I forgot to mention was the Israel reloading state needs to be resetted uh, every time we equip the weapon. Uh, the reason we need to do that is if you go to the reload um, method here, uh, the core team, you can see that we, we set the Israel reloading to true and we wait for five seconds and, and then we set, uh, sorry, two seconds, whatever the reload time is, five seconds in our case, we set it back to false then. Um, and, the, and the problem with that is if we were to change the weapon in the middle of this routine, uh, then the routine is going to cancel itself and the Israel reloading is going to remain true pretty much forever, uh, and that's going to become a big big problem because um, uh, the, 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 the computer is going to think that, hey, you're already in reloading, that means no matter how much how many times we try to spam the reload button or anything, it's we're never going to be able to reload because, you know, we, we got to make sure we're not reloading already. Um, so to fix that, what we do is every time we equip the weapon, um, we reset the reloading state because by default, we are not going to be reloading. This is very important. Uh, make sure you implement this. Uh, only on the uh, on enable method. All right, I'm going to jump back into code, and hopefully things actually work, because they typically don't. And, uh, yeah, so, you know, I don't know how long the animation is, but we can give it a try. Oh, sorry. Let's go to, so by default, it's set to, um, where is it? What? Oh, yeah, okay, reload time. Uh, maybe we should add some spaces or something, because all the... So, let's try, uh, try reloading. So in two seconds, you can see the bullets, uh, you have more bullets already, and you can actually skip to the animation. So obviously we need to increase that. In my, in my case, I'm going to maybe just add to five seconds. Let's keep testing it. Yeah, that's, 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 that's okay. Maybe, maybe like... All right, so I kind of muted my microphone there. Good stuff. Um, anyways, um, so I set the time to 5.5 for both the weapons, and that seems to work pretty well. Uh, and uh, yeah, I added a bunch of... Uh, just duplicated these. So the tutorial is obviously over, but, you know, just uh, did some cool stuff. Um, just a bunch of AI and everything. So let me know if you guys want, uh, want to see more about AI in general, uh, or just um, things like menu, scoring systems, um, all, that, all that kind of stuff. So anything, anything you guys want, let me know in the comments below. Um, uh, feel free to message me on Discord. The Discord server has been pretty dead lately, actually. Um, but I've kind of been trying to talk and revive it. I don't think I'm reviving it that well. But, you know, like, feel free to hop in. Uh, I'll try to help you. Um, but, yeah, then again, I, I, get, I get busy sometimes with things. So, um, anyhow, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And um, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.